It might be good to talk to Arashi. Kasane, good. Do you mind if I butt in? Haruka, you were listening? Yeah, I agree with everyone. So I want you to know you can always talk to me. Friends. I've never wanted friends before, but... There's a limit to what I can do or think of by myself. I'll try to rely on other people a little more. So we failed the job that Seiron official gave us. It was Kodama's fault. We couldn't help it. I never thought failing a mission would relieve me so much. Kasane? Gemma, did you read my message? I came to talk to you. It seems like you still feel responsible for what happened to Naomi. It isn't your fault she turned into another. There's no point in you blaming yourself. You came all this way just to say that? Well, you felt guilty enough to come all the way here. <sighs> You're right. It's probably presumptuous of me to think it was all my fault. Still... I can't forget what happened to her. It's sad to think this is how I behave after the decades I've fought. I don't think it's sad, just surprising. I thought your experience would allow you to cope better than this. That's what I thought. You don't have time to falter when a friend dies in battle. Our role as members of the OSF is to bottle up our feelings no matter what happens, and fight until the last other is killed. But you haven't been able to control your emotions. Do you have any idea why? I must be at my limit. I've lost too many friends. Friends of many years and rookies like Naomi. While everyone else lost their lives, I'm left standing here. My retirement drawing closer. You make it sound like it's bad that you're alive. I feel guilty. The young people with promising futures die someone like me with not many years left is allowed to live. That's why I was so committed to protecting the young members. 
I know that you wanted to protect Naomi. However, there's no point in regretting the past that way. You're better off focusing on what needs to be done right here and now. I know that. Gamma, behind you! <laughs> Good reaction. The enemy was just weak. I can still fight for now. What do you mean, for now? I'm old. I'll have to retire soon. When I retire, they'll stop administering the anti-aging drug. My body will begin to grow old, and my power will gradually diminish. As someone who's had to rely on my power for decades to survive in battle, I'm a little worried about its strength diminishing. I do remember reading something about that. It might be the distant future for you, but it's just around the corner for me. Many retired soldiers have a hard time adjusting to civilian life after being in the OSF for so long. There are those who have nowhere else to go after society throws them out. No family or friends to rely on. Are you saying you'll be one of them? Yeah, I spent most of my life in the OSF. I can't do much other than fight. How is someone like that supposed to live outside the military? I'm ashamed to say that I'm afraid of that day coming. If I have to live on carrying these feelings for my fallen comrades, then I think I'd rather die in battle. I'm sorry. That was a stupid thing to say. I don't understand. If you're serious about wanting to die, then I misjudged you. You say that you're the only one left alive, but it's not like you've survived this long on your own. Even my sister was worried about your health. And you just roll over and die? That's so selfish. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. I'm leaving. Goodbye. <sighs> what is he thinking? Naomi was so concerned about him. It's not like I haven't thought about giving up my own life if it could help save her. But that would only make her sad. I thought he would have figured that out. There. This doesn't solve everything, but at least he won't ask me about it. He's someone I may have to kill eventually. I need to make sure we interact as seldom as possible. Or else I might lose my nerve when the time comes. <sighs> He's kind of strange. He's not like Naomi or Captain Seto. It's not like I found him especially interesting, so why couldn't I just ignore him? Oh well. He can't contact me anymore. For now, I just need to focus on Naomi. I guess I should talk to Kagero. Kasane, you've come to see me. Let me guess, you've finally fallen for this sly fox's charms. Disturbing things do tend to stand out. Ouch. I demand an apology and compensation. Therefore, I'd like you to come to Kikuchiba with me. Kikuchiba? What are we going to do with a ruin overrun by others? I mean, if I suggest we go to Musubi's for a talk, you just turn me down. It doesn't matter where we do it. I hate meaningless conversations. Just think about it. If there are others, we can fight. 
It wouldn't be meaningless if we were also gaining valuable fighting experience. If you don't want to talk, you can just focus on the fighting. That way, there's no wasted time. I can't imagine I can improve my skills training with you. Our power disparity is too great. Seriously? Come on, just humor me, would you? Please, Kasane? Why does he want me to go with him? As irritating as this is, this might be a good opportunity to finally get him to tell me about his past. Okay, if it's training, then I'll go with you. That's the spirit. Don't let my graceful knife skills make you fall in love with me. Since I'm absolutely not interested, could you fight invisible the entire time? There's no sign of any others. What, really? They're usually everywhere. Of all the days they're not around. This is no different than talking at the hideout. Let's go back. Wait, wait, wait! We'd be wasting a trip if we just turned around and went home. <sighs> Fine. Atta girl. Don't worry, I won't bore you. There's also something I wanted to show you. What? It's a surprise for later. Come on, this way. Well, our plans may have gone awry, but at least we can have some fun without getting interrupted by others. Our goal was combat training. Having them around was the whole point. Even you must have realized that the combat training was nothing more than an excuse. Oh, this really brings back memories. This area used to be a shopping district. I always came here with friends to blow off steam. Now it's nothing but a bunch of sad rubble. It gives me a strange feeling. I mean, I guess to someone young who wasn't around back then, this would look like nothing but a pile of rubble. Somewhere nobody lives anymore. Nothing left but visions. It's almost like the entire city has been left to haunt this area. I know it sounds absurd, but in a way, it's actually pretty funny. He's doing it again. He's lost his levity. I wasn't just imagining it. Oh, there it is. An arcade game? Not just any arcade game. You operate a crane to grab a prize, and if you manage to drop it down the hole, you get to keep it. This used to be real popular back in the day, especially with couples. This is why we came here. Let's see if it still works. It's plugged in, but it's not responding. Maybe it's broken. Wait. No, it's just locked. All right, time to use the hacking program I borrowed from Arashi. That sounds illegal. This place may be in ruins, but are we allowed to just operate this and take its prize? Don't worry about it. It's been left like this forever, so nobody's going to get mad if we take a prize or two. Oh, nice, it worked. Ha, <laughs> look at that. Now tell me which one you want. I'll grab it for you. There are only plushies. I don't really want any of them, but if I had to choose one, then... That one, I guess. Okay, say no more. Consider it yours. I used to play these games all the time back in the day. I'm basically an expert now. Start it up, turn here, and... Now! He dropped it. Uh, I'm not giving up yet. One more time. This time I'll get it for sure. He hasn't even gotten a single one yet. At the rate this is going, I'll never be able to ask him about himself. Can I get a turn? Okay, but this is more difficult than I thought it'd be. You know, I bet the store manager put the prize in a position where it's hard to get. Hey, you're cheating! All my hard work vanished like tears in the rain. You brute-forced a locked machine with a hacking tool. So who's the real cheater here? <laughs> well, I suppose you're right. Okay, then. I know this just started to feel like a date, but I think it's time we call it a day. Oh, were you two together? Oh, boy. Looks like we're caught. Well, cat's out of the bag. I guess there's no sense in hiding our secret now. Secret? What were you doing? He thinks we were on a date, which I in no way wanted any part of. If it were a date, well, I'd call it a complete failure. 
Kasane? Why would you say that in front of me? What part of it was a failure? Naomi told me dates were supposed to be fun. That wasn't fun at all. Oh, that's too bad. Well, you're a little too young to go on a real date anyways. And I am an old geezer. In fact, I'm old enough to have a kid your age. Now that I think about it, the major here would be more suitable for me. Then why don't you treat it like an outing with your daughter? What's the fun in that? It's not like I actually want to go on a date with him. I can't imagine it'd be more fun than this last one. Whoa now, that sounds like a challenge to me. Okay, give me another shot. <sighs> Do whatever you want. I'm glad you two are getting along so well. Boy, you really are capable, Kasane. I'm detecting some sarcasm. If I was being sarcastic, I'd say it sarcastically. I have a pretty good eye for people. Just accept the compliment. You really are getting along well with the guys in this platoon. My hat's off to you. I think you'll find that I can warm your frosty heart. There's no need for that. At least I know now that you're actually considerate. Arashi, why are you sleeping here? Didn't you say you were going to check the SAS? Arashi is currently in maintenance. Please wait until services resume. Skipping out on work? Arashi, you bring lazy to a whole new level. Shut up! People need to get plenty of rest or they can't work. Plenty of rest? Oh, look at the time. It's almost time to eat. No wonder I'm so hungry. What a stupid alert system. Wow, so you can't even be bothered feeling hungry? Well, I was going out to eat. If you're hungry, then how about joining me? Eat out? Listen, rookie, the city is full of danger. You could find yourself surrounded by civilians or hounded by the crows. Fans in the press. Must be tough being famous. Basically, you're saying... It's a pain. I thought so. We don't need to go out. We have our rations. It gives us the minimum essential nutrients we need. Isn't that wonderful? You care about efficiency that much? Of course. And these rations can be eaten right away. It's my treat. Want to join me? It seems like you're absolutely against going outdoors. Okay, let's eat here then. Ah, this soda hits the spot. There is no better beverage in the world. Glad to hear it. By the way, do these rations taste a little too salty to you? You think so? I'd understand if it were heavily seasoned, but I'm just getting a strong taste of salt. It's not very balanced. Hmm, that's surprising. I thought you were more like me and didn't really care about taste that much. Hmm, now that you mention it, I don't think I used to care. I bet it's because of Naomi's cooking. My taste probably changed without me noticing. She likes to cook too? Handmade hair clip, homemade cooking. She sounds like quite the homemaker. She liked doing it since we were little. And I always helped with the taste testing. I see. That's why these rations are not to your liking. It's not that I don't like them. I just said it's not very balanced. It could just be that my palate is more refined now than it was before. Good grief. Are you really bragging to me about your sister right now? How are you two so close when you're not even related by blood? Because my sister was so kind. There's no way I would have survived in that house without her. Did something happen with your family? I guess. Don't get me wrong, I'm very grateful they took me in, but my parents don't see me as family. 
Not Naomi, though. She's always been there for me, protecting me. And that's why I wanted to do everything in my power to protect her no matter what. I don't know Naomi that well. We only got to fight together a short time. And this might come off as rude, but that hair clip and Naomi's cooking you hold so dear, I just don't understand their worth. However, hearing you tell me about them has helped me to get to know Naomi. You really found yourself a good sister. Yes, I did. Thank you for the food. Okay, we've gone through the chore of eating. Time to resume services. Seems like you're ready to go back to work. Before I forget, you can pay me back for the rations by helping me out with a little job later. What? Oh, just hearing you talk about Naomi, I sense that you're someone who has a strong sense of duty. When someone protects you, you protect them back. In other words, since I treated you to a meal today, you'd want to pay me back. Or else it wouldn't sit right with you. I'm really just doing it for your sake. I'll let you know what you have to do later. Now, I've gotta go. Oh, that's so unfair. Arashi! This must be what she had in mind the whole time when she said she'd treat me. She really got me. Nobody is better at slacking off than she is. You have some potential, Kasane. I could be your instructor if you want. I can teach you the fundamentals of Arashi-style slacking off. Wouldn't you just slack off and not teach me anything? Hmm... I have nothing more to teach you. <laughs> well done. I never get bored watching you. I'm developing a greater personal interest in you. I don't know what made you think that, but is deepening our understanding of each other a good thing? Good taste. Thank you. Thank you. Th thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. 